Hello friends, this video on electricity part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are electric current, electric current in conductors, electric potential and potential difference, Ohm's law, resistance and resistivity, electric circuits, combination of resistors, heating effects of current and electric power. So what is the purpose of studying electricity? As we all know, electricity is an extremely useful thing in each of our day-to-day day -day life. So whenever we think of electricity, we think of all these electrical appliances which we use at our home. For example, you switch it on and your bulb glows. You switch it off, it gets switched off. Electric shock, if you touch uh, an open socket, you are attacked by electric shock. Not only that, when you think of electricity, you also remember batteries which are extremely useful in so many appliances like cameras or cell phones. Your computers, they are also, they also need electricity. The electric fans, the transistors or the tape recorders, mobile phones, refrigerators and whatnot. There are so many electrical appliances on which we are dependent for our day-to-day -day life. So you understand the importance of electricity, right? Even if we have a power cut at our home for an hour or so, it becomes so difficult to live without uh, light, to live without uh, fans and all that stuff. So electricity being so useful, we are going to study the basics of electricity in this lesson. So to start with, we will talk about what is electric current. So that is where from where this lesson on electricity starts. So what is electric current? Electric current is nothing but flow of electric charge. So whenever we talk of current, it means it is nothing but flow of charge. So flow of electric charge constitutes electric current. It is measured as rate of flow of charge. That means rate at which the charges are flowing. So we uh, denote electric current often with I and it is written as dq by dt that means the rate at which how many charges are flowing per unit time it is denoted by capital i si unit of electric current is ampere which is uh, abbreviated by a capital a so whenever we talk of electric current it is something like let us suppose if you have a circuit which consists of a bulb you have a battery and there is a switch. The switch is right now in open mode. Now once you close the switch, the bulb glows. Why does the bulb glow? Because as soon as you close the switch, electric current flows through the circuit. And due to the flow of this electric current, the bulb glows. Right? Now there is something called direction of current. So what is the direction in which the electric current flows? Now there are, as far as direction is considered, Concerned, we will talk about two types of current. One, one is electronic current and the other one is conventional current. Now, when we talk about electric current, we talk about flow of electric charge. So, basically, we are talking about the flow of electrons. Right? Flow of electrons is what is called electric current. Now, the direction of electronic current, that is the flow of electrons will take place if this is the positive terminal of the battery and if this is the negative terminal of the battery, the electrons will come out from this terminal, right, from the negative terminal. So the direction of electronic current is from negative to positive. But the direction of conventional current is considered opposite to the direction of electronic current, that is from positive to negative. Now, conventional current is what we use everywhere. So, wherever we say that current is flowing in the circuit, we mean that conventional current is flowing from positive terminal of the battery towards the negative terminal of the battery. That is what is the direction of conventional current. So, what is current? It is nothing but flow of electric charge or we can say flow of electrons. It is measured as the rate of flow of charge. It is denoted by capital I. SI unit is amperes and the direction of conventional current, current is from positive terminal towards the negative terminal. Now how do I define 1 ampere? So how do I define 1 ampere of current? 
as i mentioned from the definition of current we define it as the rate of flow of electric charge so how do i define 1 ampere current will be 1 ampere when 1 coulomb of charge flows in 1 second right so current is 1 ampere is defined as the current when a number of electrons having 1 coulomb of charge move past a given point in 1 second that means let us suppose i am considering this point a into consideration when some n number of electrons having charge 1 coulomb will pass in 1 second then we define that current as 1 ampere. So 1 ampere is the current when a number of electrons having 1 coulomb of charge move past a point in 1 second. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.